<laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of A Hat in Time. We're starting, weirdly enough, on Alpine Skylines for <laughs> actually for real this time. Um, and we're just going to jump straight into uh, the very final of the four areas uh, in Alpine Skylines uh, so that we can just sort of get this going without having to load things up like I said in the last episode because for some reason I just didn't think ahead when it came to Alpine Skylines I just thought oh hey I could do each area as one video apparently not realizing that the journey to even get to these areas is actually quite lengthy so oh well it is what it is uh, I wanted to um, talk about a conversation from last video I think I might have mentioned it uh, I can't even remember and the video was recorded like fucking 20 minutes ago um, it was about my brother. I've been in conversation with him uh, since he visited, since he last visited, about going up to see him. Um, oh my god, okay. Let me just figure out what I need to do here. I need to, I think, yeah, come up here. Up here like this. And then up here like... Oh no, 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 no. Oh god, okay, okay. Oh, oh, no. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, that's not good. That's not good. What What the fuck? Hat kid. Hat kid. Hat kid. What? Okay, that was weird. Hat kid just did a fucking weird thing there. I have no idea what just happened. Um, so I'm, I'm in talks with my brother to go up and visit him again. Because um, the last time I visited was when we recorded Ocarina of Time. Uh, I think we recorded about 22 or 23 episodes worth for that but obviously you guys only saw 12 because I haven't edited the rest um, you, you'd be surprised how much effort it actually takes to edit those videos it actually takes a lot more effort than you would think um, for each of those videos I had to uh, take the audio separately from the video into uh, oh okay it's over here into audacity to uh, do noise suppression on them just to make sure that the uh, the audio Oh, there's a chest over there. You motherfuckers. God damn it. You know, you, you know how to taunt me. That was a token too. Okay, thank God I collected that. That would have been a pain in the ass to have to come back for that. Um, so, so uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I took the audio into Audacity and did noise suppression on it to um, make sure there was as little background audio as humanly possible. Uh, and I think I did a pretty good job with it. Um, because the audio came out pretty decent in all the videos that we did. <clears throat> so, I'm, I'm hoping uh, that... Hold on. Oh, there we go. Ooh, oh, 666, boys. We, we got the Satan number. Um, oh, fuck. Okay, 672. That's what we're at now. God, we've got a lot of poms. Um, and then the video I had to stretch out because it wasn't like perfectly stretched out to 720p screen, which was kind of annoying. I'm not even going to bother talking to you because you still only have those two stupid badges. Ah, alright, here we go boys, we're going into the twilight zone. It's time to head into to the, the world of the twily. Um, you know, a la Twilight Princess, which I still haven't got back to playing yet, even though I really should. It is a phenomenal fucking game, and I've just not bothered playing it since I was... I don't even know what age I was last time I played it. Um, probably like... 15, I guess. That would seem about right. <laughs> I played that game twice. Uh, that was it. That was all I played of it. Uh, oh, hold on. Oh, right. Okay, yeah, yeah. We have to we have to do this stupid bullshit. There we go. So this world requires the Dweller Mask, and it's the only world in the whole game that actually makes full use of the Dweller Mask, which is kind of sad, but at the same time, it is just really cool to have an entire world uh, built around puzzles that require the dweller mask to solve um, and you'll see like throughout this there's just so many of them uh, I think uh, yeah that's oh, oh and there's these invisible guys too that you actually cannot hit and without the dweller mask turned on which is super neat uh, we've got the cooldown uh, badge on as well which is really really helpful to have on here uh, that door we can't open because it requires us to go over here first uh, we can walk on this and we can jump over here. I'm trying to remember what Fang did. When I watch Fang's videos um, of A Hat in Time, I'm usually like, 
I, I don't I don't want to say this because it might sound a bit horrible, but I'm usually like listening to it in the background. I don't particularly care about um oh, that was a yarn, you fucking asshole. Um uh, there we go. Uh, I don't particularly care about watching his videos as much as listening to them. I, it's kind of chill to just sort of uh, put them on and listen to them in the background while I'm working on stuff. Sorry if that, you know, is, is a bit horrible, Fang, but, you know, I, I do love your videos, dude. It's just I can't, like... Oh, shit. Okay, that was a bit fucked. That, that, was, that was a stupid move. That was, that was the dumbest move I've, I've made in a very long time. Um... Yeah, I hope I hope it's not too upsetting for you, Fang. But like, you know, that's just that's just what how I am. Like a, a lot of videos, I do that with. It's not just yours. Uh, can I wait? Can I hit that bell? I wonder if I can hit that bell, or maybe I can just like do that. That works. <laughs> that works too. I bet I bet there's like a horn or something up here that I'm supposed to uh, supposed to be. Oh no, there's it's the key. Of course, it's the key. It would be the bloody key for the door. There we go. Key obtained. My god, we've come a long way, haven't we? Oh, and there's there's the horn. Uh, to get up there is a, a bit of a pain in the ass. Uh, where is uh, Where are some relics in here? There's an arrow pointing me back that way. That's a bit strange. It doesn't look like there's anything down there. How very odd. Okay, well, let's head back to the locked door that we saw anyway. Um... God, I'm just like, I'm buzzing through topics like a, I don't even know what. Just buzzing through them. Oh, did this stay open, really? Oh, okay. I guess uh, we can go in here now, then. Open the door. Get on the floor. Everybody walk the dinosaur. Uh, oh, so this is a cool use of this. When you turn the, uh, the hat on, it forces these gates to go upwards. When you turn these things on, and then you can turn it off and quickly walk through before the gate comes back down. That's super neat. I love that. That's a really cool use of the Dweller Hat. Here, there's actually multiple of these things blocking the gates uh, way down. So you have to sort of go down uh, and, and unblock the gate at each intersection. So there's only two here, actually. You, you get rid of this one, and then that opens up the door there. But we don't have the key, obviously. We have to collect the key, which I think is just over here. Uh, there's also a wall that you can see over on the left there. Uh, all right in here. Okay, so for this uh, I think yeah, we just do that and then we turn this on and That lets us get in uh, And then we can get out there we go and you, these these stay on these red ones So you have to hit them again turn them off and then we can get out of this gate here There we go perfect and now yeah, we have to go over here in order to get that wall um, and then we can get the, the key that we wanted so this is, like, I, I love this. Like, I know I've said it, like, three times now, I think, but I just, I love the use of the Dweller Hat here. It's absolutely fascinating. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, shit. Wait. Wait. Oh, no, we should have the Ice Hat on. Right, there we go. Okay. If we have the Ice Hat on, this should be fine. All right, let's, um, quickly, let's try and beat this thing up here. There we go, and boom, there we go, we did it. Perfect. We didn't even need to do that, it was a waste of time. Um, but we did it anyway. Because. We can. <laughs> it's, it's just, it, you can do anything you want. It's my playthrough, I can do what I want. It's my pan. it's my party, I can do what I want. Uh, this place is so cool. It's such a, like, it, it really does put me in mind of, uh, of, of the, the Twily Zone um, in Twilight Princess. I really should play that game again, man. I feel like I've, I've made a mistake by not playing that game. Um, oh shit, wait, 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 wait. Um, there we go, okay, that's right. And uh, over here, there we go, okay. I was a bit worried there, I actually didn't know where I was supposed to go there. Also, I really, really hope there aren't any tokens in here. The arrow is pointing me in a direction uh, for a collectible, but I don't actually know. Oh, God, that's not good. Oh, my God, wait a minute. This is where the flag is supposed to come out. So where am I supposed to go to... Uh... Oh, I was supposed to... Okay, I have to go back through the door. That's right. 
Um, yeah, I have to go to the opposite side, I think. <clears throat> Back out here, yeah. There's like another direction to go in over here, I think. There we go. And this leads to uh, the area that makes the yarn come out. God, isn't this just such a cool little puzzle series, though? Series of puzzles. Oh, there we go. Uh, my, I was just talking to my dad before I came back up to record this episode, actually. Uh, Charlotte's Web is on television. And um, it's the live-action Charlotte's Web, not the cartoon. Um, and my my dad was like, you know, why, why is it... Uh, when, when did Charlotte's Web, like, cross over with... Um, uh, oh, when did Charlotte's Web cross over with, uh, Babe, Pig in the City or whatever, you know, the Babe series of films? And I said, it didn't. And, and when I asked him, like, why did you ask that question? He said, because they, they don't, like, they, they have nothing to do with each other. And I said, well, well, yeah, like, who said they did? Like, what? what? <laughs> he, he looked at the pig and he thought, he thought Babe, Pig in the pig in the city and fucking just just kind of connected them and then was like oh they have nothing to do with each other it's like yes okay like he confused me so much with that that was the weirdest fucking conversation like yes it, it doesn't have anything to do with babe so why are you why are you implying it does what <laughs> i'm very confused um i would like to know why you said that uh, it's 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 things like that that just they 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 really please me. They 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 put me in a good mood, man. They put me in a real good mood. Uh, we have to come all the way back through here again. Uh, oh shit! Oh oh my god! Okay. Uh, what are we? Okay. Uh, oh, it's it's all turned on. Did these did these things stay on? Really? That's uh weird. Oh okay, we're back over. Good. Whew. I think we're almost at the timepiece here, or time rift. Timepiece? Timepiece. Pisse. Time. Ti pisse de time. Um. Okay. So wait. There. There was. There's. There's something. There is a collectible hiding in this level somewhere. The arrow is pointing to it, but I have no idea where it is. I actually kind of want to try and find that. Um. I'm doing it. I'm going. I'm. I'm going to try and find it. I'm going to put myself in severe danger for this. All right, we're back up. Oh, jeez, that was weird. I have no idea what that was all about. Uh, but let's collect this timepiece so that we can uh, get on with the, the final boss. Because there has to be a final boss for every level. Boom! There we go. Timepiece acquired. 32. We're only eight away from the finishing the main game. I cannot believe that. You cleared the Twilight Bell. Fantastic. I'm, I'm sure I missed something, though. Oh, and here comes the Voirus. The Voirus. This, this right here, this, this, uh, this whole series of events that's going to take place now, it takes place across the entirety of Alpine Skyline. You have to travel to all the different islands, and it takes quite a while. So I'm not sure if I'm going to cut this down or not. We'll see what I do in post. Uh, but in the meanwhile, I'll try and make some conversation, shall I? Uh, I played Banjo-Kazooie The Jiggies of Time yesterday. Um, like, properly. I actually, uh, dedicated a couple of hours. Well, it was just an hour. It took about an hour and 20 minutes, I think. Uh, but I managed to finish Kokiri Forest, uh, 100% minus an empty honeycomb. And I'm absolutely fucking astonished at how well made that game is. Like, they put so much love like clear love and effort into the creation of that game and i'm absolutely gobsmacked that they did so much to try and um that was fucked up uh i'm, I'm gobsmacked that they actually like tried so hard to make it feel like a proper banjo kazooie game despite being a fan uh, made rom hack uh and it, it's got like all the quirky dialogue you, you'd expect from a banjo kazooie game it's got like the proper um, uh, like kind of stylization of the collectibles and everything. It's it's really really well done. It's it's actually astonishing, um, and I loved it. So I'm gonna play more of it today. I reckon, if not today, tomorrow. Also, I think we need to go to the left over here in order to to get to the ribbon. Yeah, we do. 
We have to we have to get to the ribbon. It's absolutely imperative. Um, there we go, and I think we've made it. Oh no, wait. Oh, okay. We just have to go to the left here. There we go. All right, we've made it. We've done it. We, we're going. We're going the right way. Whew. Wipe my brow. You know, just just wipe the sweat off. We have a long way to go. We have to go uh, to every single uh, major island in order to to do this. Also, how do I get up here? Okay, just do that. That works. That works just fine for my liking. Thank you very much. Also, that platform just gets fucking yeeted, so we're not going to worry about that platform. Uh, and we're close here. Look at that. Oh, we're almost at the the first of the four of these uh, quote boss battles that we're here that we're taking on here. Um, of course, we are going to be severely attacked by these plants every time we get close to one, though. Um, they start sh trying to trying to throw these bomb things at you. You see. Uh, although we're fine, you know, we're, we're gonna make it. It's it's all gonna be all right, bros. It's all gonna be all right. We're gonna make it. Um, oh, jeez. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, oh, jeez, Rick. Oh, it's all right. <laughs> we did it. There we go. That's one out of four, baby. One out of four. And now we need to make our way all the way back to the center to go in a different direction. It's the only thing that lengthens out this boss battle, quote unquote, uh, is, is the fact that you have to go all the way back after you've made it. You can't just teleport back. So it's very annoying that. Um, oh man, a couple of days ago, um, I think, I don't know if I mentioned this in one of my last videos, but a couple of days ago I had a movie night with some lads. And we watched a film about uh, uh, Hitler coming back in, I think it was 2014. It's called like Weeder Da something. Um, and it's it's just such a fucking fantastic film. Like the, 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 the way it goes about kind of um, making sense of, I don't want to say Hitler's ideology, but it, it, it kind of makes sense of, of uh, how someone like Hitler ends up getting into power in the first place. Um, and it's, it's just such a, a tragic film to watch, but it's also in, incredibly interesting and, and educational um, if you want to kind of understand how someone like that ends up uh, in the power structure in the first place. Oh boy, okay. Oh, all right, we've made it. Oh, all right. One of three areas done. Now we have to go to the second one. And we're at 19 minutes, although I'm not actually sure if it's going to be 19 minutes or... Uh, that's that's where I'm at currently, at the very least. Um, we'll see if it actually takes that long uh, to do all of this. Hold on, where does this green one lead? Is there a, a plant over there? It doesn't look like it. No, there's, there's one over this way, though, so we'll go over here and do this one. Oh, no, there's one near where the lava cake is supposed to be. That's very annoying. Uh, oh shit, wait, 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 oh god, which way are we going? Which way are we going? Oh, please, god. Tell me I just went the right way. Um, I really, really, oh yeah, I did. Okay, thank god for that. I was gonna be very upset. 800, oh my god, we could actually buy the fucking mumble badge. Holy shit. I can't believe we've collected so many ponds. What the fuck? Oh my god, look at all this. All these po pollen things. It's the, it's the COVID-19 and it's made it into a hat in time, boys. Oh, no. Uh, so, wait. Where are we going from here? Uh, is this it? Are we going up here? Is this the way? It is not, no. We want to go over this way. There we go. All right. Whew. And I think this is the second boss, second area. Oh, it's so tragic. Oh my god. Oh my god. Whoa, 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 whoa. Holy shit, dude. Okay, I was not expecting that. What the fuck, dude? Oh my god. What absolute travesty. Uh, oh my god. Can I get some health, please? Holy shit. Thank you very much. That hurts. That hurt majorly. <laughs> I'm gonna need some hearts, man. Holy crap. All right, there we go. Oh, oh, God. Okay, no, don't you dare. All right, there we go. Second of four. Whew. Oh, what a boss battle. It's, it's I, I don't want to call it a boss battle. That's the thing. Like, it's, it's less of a boss battle and more of, like, just... 
wandering around killing a few like COVID infested plants. <laughs> Do I want to call them COVID infested plants? That sounds like a really horrible thing to say. Oh shit, okay. Oh, whoa! There's a chest up here. That was a yarn. Okay, that was pathetic. I did not even need that. Uh, where is the next plant? Okay, there's a plant on the red flag, so we need to we need to go on the red flag uh, if we can find our way to it. Uh, let's collect some ponds on the way back. Why not? Could probably end up with enough ponds to get the last two badges in the game. Although I am going to need a lot of ponds later down the line. Uh, we'll, 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 I'll tell you what the reason is eventually, but uh, I don't want to spoil things right now, so... Not that it matters if I do, but it would just be nice to save some, um, some, some mystery, you know, for what happens later. 816 ponds. Ridiculous. I like that little cave area we just went through, that's pretty nice. That's pretty neat. That's pretty cool. Alright. Three of four. Now, which way am I, am I going to go? Which way do I need to go? I'm pretty sure it's over there. Because that flower just tells me. That flower right there just tells me that that's supposed to be where I'm going. And also, it just destroyed a platform as well. So it's very, very obvious. There we go. Okay, right. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right. Bit of, bit of dedicated platforming going on here. Yeah, no, we're definitely going the right way here. Perfect. Oh, this this is uh this is a, a fucking long ass fight though. It really does just drag this out. Not not to say that's a bad thing, I guess, but uh, it just gets annoying after five minutes. It's like, oh yes, I've, I've been traveling around this island for ages now, and now you want me to do it again. Thanks, game. I appreciate that. Uh, where am I going here? Uh, I guess, okay, I was supposed to just go up here. Uh, well, I'm, I'm almost like where I'm supposed to be anyway. Look, the flower's right over there. We just kind of follow the, the flower things here, and we'll make it. Oh my god, we're at 23 minutes. I really hope, like, I cut some stuff out of this video and, and pull it back to about 25, but this will be the last long video I do anyway. Oh, you motherfucker, it managed to get me. Oh, shit! Oh, you son of a bitch! These things, oh my god, it's, it's so good at hitting you. It's so good at fucking smashing you to bits. Oh, Christ, no, 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 no! Oh my god, stop it! Stop, stop it with this nonsense! Oh my god, it, it cannot stop hitting me. This is ridiculous. Stop this. Uh, okay, can I get up on this house? This is a good vantage point from which to sort of uh, make our way towards this flower. Uh, yeah, we. I think we're good here. Alright. Thank god for that. Let's kill the third flower then. Wait, was that it? Was that really it? Are you kidding me? I thought there was four flowers. I guess I wasn't paying as much attention as I should have been. Okay. Is it over? The air is clear again. It seems to be, yeah. <laughs> Gotta we're waiting for a moment like that in real life. And the gods seem to have come to their senses again. <laughs> I don't really understand it, but I assume we have you to thank. Yes, you do. I just spent probably about uh, 10 minutes doing that. Perfect. Oh. And that's it. And I'm pretty sure this timepiece will actually send us back to the ship, too. So. Ba -da -da -da. Might as well sing along. Dun, dun, dun. After such a long episode, you know. Oh. Well, it is what it is. We've had fun. We've had fun here today. And that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about on this channel. Um, <laughs> well, I think it's what it's about. It's also about rambling and not being able to keep track of what the hell I'm talking about. But you know what? Maybe uh, next time I'll have some proper topics uh, lined up. You know, I, I haven't had any topics lined up in a proper list to keep track of for ages. I've taken most of this LP on the nose just talking about whatever comes to mind while I'm recording. But 
yeah, that's it for Alpine Skylines outside of the uh, the rifts. So we'll come back and do those, uh, I reckon, next time. Uh, oh, do you know what? I didn't fucking read the diaries for any of those levels. Uh, i tell you what then, uh, just as a reminder to myself for next episode, I'm going to start next episode by reading out the diary entries that would have been uh, for each of those levels that I've done um, since the lava cake. So that would be the windmill, the twilight tower and the birdhouse. Oh wait, no, I read the birdhouse one, so it would just be the windmill uh, and the twilight bell. Uh, and maybe even that boss level as well, it depends. I'm not actually sure if that has a diary entry. But yeah, I'm, I'm extending this episode out far longer than it needs to be. So thank you very much for watching this longer episode. Uh, next time we will catch up on the diary entries I missed, and then I guess we'll start on the time rifts. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye!